What's going on, everybody? Jen Min here, back with another humongous omnibus and collected edition haul. We've got so many books to cover. We need to just get right into it. But I have to give two huge shout outs before we do that. First of all, shout out to David Gabriel and Marvel Comics for sending us two early edition Omnis, Age of Apocalypse, third printing, and The Incredible Hulk by Peter David, Volume 3. Can't wait to take a look at those. And all the other books are from Organic Price Books. Man, our sponsor has been hooking us up lately with books that you see here, books that I have downstairs that we've already taken a look at. We're going to include them for gem crates, but they have been making a splash in the hobby. Everybody has been shopping and loving their experience with organic price books. You can save $2 by using the code gem mint at checkout, the personal experience, customer service, the great packaging. You're basically buying from a fan. So check out organic price books. If you're looking to shop for any omnibus or collected editions with that out of the way, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a video. We are giving away a Spider-Man premium format exclusive by sideshow once we hit 125,000 subscribers all you got to do is be subscribed leave a like on this video and comment below stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you more details on the giveaway but for now let's jump into the first book here this is the image hardcover witchblade volume 2 all right guys let's jump into it you have a Michael Turner cover here witchblade on the front here's the spine and here is the back you can see that it contains witchblade issues 20 through 36 Tales of Witchblade 4 through 8, Witchblade Infinity One Shot, you got Witchblade Darkness, the half issue, issue 1, then you have Darkness slash Witchblade 1 and Darkness 28 with a $50 cover price. I'll just crack this bad boy open. Of course, created by Mark Silvestri, David Wool, Brian Haberlin, and Michael Turner. Here's the interior. And we're jumping into Witchblade here. Nice to see them continuing uh, publishing these in the hardcover format. They also do have a soft cover that they put out for complete Witchblade. I definitely love the big 90s art style, filling up the entire page in many panels. <laughs> this was a big thing in the 90s, right? When they flipped it sideways, I felt like that was a big Rob Liefeld thing as well. All right, so just jumping in here. Uh, man, not really familiar with the Witchblade character. Uh, I always wanted to get into it because of the Darkness statue that XM Studios put out. But uh, never never got into it. Still haven't gotten into it. But um, we got the books here just in case I want to jump into it. But great stuff. On uh, the back, you got some bonus material, some variants and such. Or just some covers, I should say. I was going to say, yeah, Tim Hildebrandt. That's like Marvel Masterpiece 1993-1994 vibes. All right, guys, next up from IDW. A little bit late on this one. TMNT Volume 12, Old Hob on the cover. I need to get caught up on this. Let's flip through and take a look at what's going on in this deluxe edition. All right, super late on this one. TMNT, the IDW Collection, Volume 12. Uh, I think Volume 13 comes out in June of this month. But here's the, the front, the spine here, matching with the rest. You got Old Hob on the front and back. And this collects the Macro Series Michelangelo. Uh, my, uh, also has Macro Series Leonardo. Then you have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe 23 through 25. Then the regular ongoing issues 85 through 89. Plus the Bebop and Rocksteady Hit the Road mini series. This has a $59.99 cover price. So... 60 bucks on TMNT, and I cannot remember where I left off. I think I'm going to have to go back and see what reviews I did on these hardcovers and uh, get caught back up on TMNT. I feel like I haven't read past much where uh, Donatello was killed and became part of, uh, he put his consciousness in Metalhead, and then he came back and all this stuff. The only thing I'm current on with Turtles is The Last Ronin. A little Mondo Gecko action here. I grew up reading Turtles comics, man, Mighty Mutanimals and stuff. The IDW run, you know, people ask how it is all the time. I really enjoyed the first deluxe edition, the first volume. They kind of like added some spiritual depth to the lore of the Turtles and their reincarnation. And I felt like it, it really got away from that, man. Uh, there, there have been some interesting things like that Donatello arc that I mentioned. But um, otherwise, it, it kind of, uh, you know, started started falling off for me. But anyway, I want to get caught up with TMNT, man. So maybe I'll do a uh, 
a catch up review and review the last three volumes or such. Let's take a look at the variant covers. I used to always want the uh, issue one connecting covers in like nine eights to display together when they were first coming out. So just a couple covers and that's it. All right, guys, this was kind of an unexpected surprise that Organic Price Books threw in our care package here. Ed Brubaker's Criminal Volumes 1 through 3. Let's explain and take a look at them. Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips. I didn't even know they reprinted these. I used to have the OG first two volumes. I read them and then I ended up selling them. Uh, they did publish this third volume, which is more of like one shots and one offs. Not so much the volumes like these are collected in. Here's a look at the spines. They kind of modernized these deluxe editions a little bit. I remember the other ones being just kind of like all white. They kind of made this look like they were stickers from like a library or something. These all have $50 cover prices. And as far as what they collect, um, we'll go over volume one. They're very similar with uh, what you get in the three volumes. So I don't want to spend too much time on them. Well, here's the inside of volume one. Maybe we'll flip through just to kind of show you guys what they collect. So this one collects criminal volume one, issues one through 10, then volume two, issues one through three. And uh, I think that's about it. So that's how they were collected. Volumes that had uh, their own individual issues in them. So this one has a forward by Dave Gibbons from July of 20, uh, from 2009. Coward is the name of the first volume. And this is Brubaker. If you like Brubaker, if you like Sean Phillips, you're going to like Criminal. I think it's probably one of his most notable independent comics. Uh, this is the type of art style that you're going to get in it. And let's look at what Volume 2 collects. So it continues issues from Volume 2, which is issues 4 through 7. Then it has Criminal, The Sinners, 1 through 5. And Criminal, The Last of the Innocent, issues 1 through 4. So like I said, you're going to get the same type of art style, the same type of crime noir type of vibe. From what I remember, it almost feels a little bit like Sin City, right? Isn't there like this bar where like these characters kind of congregate and then you go off into their own little storylines and such? It's been a while since I read it. And then, like I said, with Volume 3, it's kind of like a collection of like one-offs and one-shots. Let me see. Does it even say what it collects? Special Edition, um, 10th Anniversary, My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies, and Criminal 1 to 4. Yeah, so if you even look at like the first issue, it's kind of like this savage sort of criminal kind of Conan homage. So, so Volume 3 kind of like um, a companion book. All right, next up, we have the new editions of Jeff John's Flash, Omnibus Volume 1 and 2. Jem, don't you have the original three Omnis? Stay tuned. All right, so I decided to upgrade my Flash by Jeff John's Omnibus to the newer versions because, I don't know, the, the other three, the original three, you have like a very thin Volume 1. The mapping was a little bit off, so I figured I would just go ahead and upgrade these. So let's take a look at the spines from Volumes 1 and 2. Take a look at the backs here. So these have $100 and yeah, both of them are $100 cover prices. Here's the inside of the dust jacket for volume one. Little picture of Flash here. Uh, biography on Jeff Johns. This collects the Flash issues 164 through 191. The Flash Our Worlds at War 1. The Flash Iron Heights 1. Secret Files Origins 3. And DC First Flash and Superman issue 1. Comes with a wraparound hardcover. I believe the first versions of these Omnis were just black covers. Here's the credits. So you have uh, pencilers like Scott Collins, Ethan Van Skyver, Angel Yunzetta, Rick Burchett. Here's a table of contents. Now, man, I've always heard good things about this run. I started reading the first issue. And I just couldn't get into it. Not the first issue, the first uh, Omnibus. I read a few issues from the first Omni. Yeah, the thing with like Captain Cold and there was some type of, uh, I was going to say time travel thing, but isn't that always the case with Flash? Or something like that, man. Uh, these books lead up into Flashpoint and I know that Volume 3 is going to double dip with Flashpoint. I definitely plan on doing a read through and just kind of plowing through the first few issues. I hear the overall consensus is like, that's agreed upon that it takes a little bit to actually get started. But uh, yeah, looking at the contents of volume one. So volume two just collects flash 192 through 225, 
Wonder Woman 214, and some bonus content as well uh, from The Flash, The Secret of Barry Allen. Here's the inside of the dust jacket here. Kind of similar. You have a Flash image on the left. More about Jeff Johns. And another wraparound cover for Volume 2. Looks pretty slick. Got that nice red interior. Little cover page here. Here's the credits. And uh, the table of contents as well. So they always do these kind of covers, trade dress style, in these DC Omnis. I'd prefer the actual regular cover, but that's how they do it. So pre-Flashpoint, uh, you can kind of see with the artwork, it looks a little on, on a lighter side. Well, here, here gets some darkness, but uh, the beginning felt very like late 90s as we get into the 2000s. Here we go, starting to modernize in this book a little bit compared to volume one. There's another trade dress or non-trade dress cover, I should say. So looking forward to jumping into this. I'm glad I am uh, upgrading those old ones. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to do something. All right, guys, moving over to DC, which is now considered DC Black Label, not a Vertigo title. We have the Preacher Omnibus Volume 1. Yes, I had the absolutes. I did sell them, and I'll explain why right now. All right, here is the dust jacket for Preacher, Garth Ennis, and Steve Dillon. This collects the Preacher uh, issues 1 through 33, and it has a couple of Preacher specials, Saint of Killers 1 through 4, Cassidy, Blood and Whiskey number 1. Also has some bonuses like pinups, scripts, letters to the editor, and more with a $125 cover price. Here's the inside of the dust jacket, just a biography on the creators. And here's the graphics that are on the actual hardcover. This was the first Absolute Edition that I ever read. And I, I love the Absolute Editions. I think they look great. But I decided to sell off my Absolutes and just collect Omnibus. I don't really want to have so many different formats. And I collect Omnis, you know. So uh, I decided to sell those Preachers, sell the Sandman, and uh, pick them back up in Omnibus format. So here's Volume 1. I believe Volume 2 is coming out or it's out already. I'll be getting it soon. Great story. I love the kind of epic scope of like heaven and hell stuff. I, I like it when they kind of go there with like God and religion and vampires and uh, the main character just being like an overall badass. Love this stuff. It was it was crazy, man. Uh, I did a review on it a couple years back when I read the Absolute Editions. So this is just me kind of like the same with Flash. Just I don't know if you want to call it upgrading, but maybe just focusing the book collection a little bit. And, uh, and going all omnibus. All right, so the first out of the two pre-releases, we have the X-Men Age of Apocalypse third printing. I do own the first printing, but these books keep going out of print, so Marvel doing justice to the fans and continuing to reprint these so that collectors uh, are able to obtain them. And this is scheduled to be released on June 2nd. This is the regular cover. The DM variant is this cover here, which is basically the gatefold chromium x-men i think is it alpha or omega one of those covers from the age of apocalypse with kind of like a stylistic black bottom half i do like the dm as well but i think this is the the cover to get for sure uh so here's the spine no need to really compare this to the second printing because it's literally identical but it collects everything that you need for age of apocalypse it has uncanny x-men issues 320 and 321 x-men 40 and 41 cable 20 then you have, like I mentioned, X-Men Alpha, and then all of those little four-issue miniseries that were in the Age of Apocalypse universe. Amazing X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, Factor X, Gambit and the Externals, Generation Next, Weapon X, Excalibur, or Excalibre, I don't know, X-Man, and then you have ending it with X-Men Omega, Age of Apocalypse, and then you have The Chosen and X-Men Ashcan Issue 2. This is the same graphic on the hardcover for the second printing, or I think I own the first printing. They're all the same, and it's the same image from the dust jacket of the DM variant. All right, so let's just flip through here just to give you an idea. Age of Apocalypse, version of Apocalypse. Here you go, also that same image. Table of Contents. And then I like it, you know, old school comics where they show you the cover and then you jump into the issue. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to say much about Age of Apocalypse. It hasn't been sent al uh, said already. Basically, Legion, Professor X son, uh, during the Legion quest storyline, tries to do right by going back in time and killing 
uh, Magneto, but he ends up killing Professor X, and it just leads to this alternate timeline where characters that we know and love have a different path. Rogue is with Magneto, and Cyclops is working for the bad guys, and has blasted off permanently uh, Wolverine's hand. It's just a fun kind of little alternate universe from the X-Men that took place in the 90s. So, uh, you know, these volumes keep going out of print. <laughs> this is a Sugar Man guy. Uh, so they go out of print. They start becoming very expensive. And luckily, Marvel has been on top of reprinting these books so that all collectors have an opportunity to pick these up. And at a, you know, discounted rate, you know, once they're... Uh, once they're new, once they're in stock, so. All right, guys, I think this is the only book that's like really new, Like right? The other stuff was either uh, stuff that was collected in other formats, like, you know, Absolute to Omnibus, or even Omnibus to Omnibus with The Flash, but uh, Incredible Hope by Peter David, Volume 3, continuing this character-defining legacy with Peter David's work, and this one's got some great stuff on the inside that I am familiar with. Let's go ahead and take a look at Incredible Hulk, Volume 3. All right, so Marvel continuing to publish Peter David's run on The Incredible Hulk. This is Volume 3. This is the regular cover by Gary Frank. The direct market is the cover for Incredible Hulk 403, which you guys can see right here. Let's take a look at the spine. As you would imagine, it pairs up nicely with Volumes 1 and 2. And actually, Volume 4 was just announced. So this collects Incredible Hulk 401 through 435 with annuals 19 and 20. You have Incredible Hulk vs. Venom number 1. That's special. I always like that one. Also has Hulk Future Imperfect issues 1 through 2, which is the first appearance of Maestro. Where is that? Oh, right here. <laughs> I couldn't find him. Also has Tales to Astonish number one from 1994, Incredible Hulk Ash Can Edition one, and material from Marvel Holiday Special issue three and from 1991. So this one has a $125 cover price. This is gonna be coming out pretty soon by the time you guys see this video. Awesome graphics on the hardcover, Incredible Hulk here, Maestro here on the back from Future Imperfect. And let's flip open. I think they all have these baby blue interior pages. Nice cover page. You have credits here, table of contents, and then jumping right into it. So I started reading volume one. I didn't grow up reading Hulk. I always remember seeing these issues, especially issue, I think 400 was like one of those chromium issues. Those always drew my eye when I was a kid. Uh, but excited to read this, and excited to read Future Imperfect. I don't know that I've ever read that. I've been reading all of the recent Maestro stuff that Peter David has been doing. I love it. And I understand this is probably going to be a little bit different, right? This is kind of like you're already in that world, whereas the new stuff that he's publishing or, or writing, I should say, is more of how he got there, right? So uh, I, I might just jump into this and read Future Imperfect uh, and take a look at that before I try to get caught up on all the Omnis. Dope Abomination there. Looking good. I'm glad to see that they're continuing this now. We could just start working on Peter David's Spider-Man 2099. Hey, check out the uh, original George Perez pencils. That's dope. Some nice uh, sketches and bonuses here. Variant covers and such. Cool. Again, big shout out to Marvel Comics. A big thank you to Organic Price Books. Let me know what you guys thought about the haul in the comments down below. Like I said, we're giving away that Spider-Man statue at 125K. And all you got to do is leave a comment on this video. Once we hit the milestone during our Sunday live streams, I'll pick a random video where the giveaway was promoted and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other omnibus hauls, recent reads, new comic book day reviews, and the playlists on screen, and stay minty fresh. Peace.